Hi, I'm Bill Velta, the Mayor of Upland. Join me as we delve into Upland's business community and listen to what some of our businesses are saying about our city. You'll see some familiar brands and companies, along with some up and coming ones. I'm so proud to show you what all of us here in City Hall have been working hard to bring to Upland. We're starting off inside this beautiful and historic building in downtown Upland, known as the Mitchell Building. It has stood for almost 100 years and is now being reimagined as an elegant and modern dining experience by developer, builder, designer, Mustafa Khalifa. This is just one example of the many ways that downtown Upland is being revitalized, re-energized, and recognized as a dining and shopping destination. As passionate advocates on behalf of Upland business owners, our city staff have sought out new and exciting businesses that are a great fit for our diverse community. The reason why Barcuso decided to come to historic downtown Upland is deep down they wanted us. We had other opportunities in other cities and um, Upland reached out and made it feel like this was the right decision. The city of Upland reached out to me and said, can we just have a meeting with you? We want to hear your ideas. We see you're trying to open it another place. We think you're really going to love downtown Upland. And after about a 30 minute meeting with, uh, I call them the Three Musketeers, it's uh, Geo, Bob and Mel. They, they made me feel like family and I, I didn't want to go anywhere else. We want Barcuso to be the best experience you've ever had in a bar. I call us a bar, but we're a social club. We want people to come in, enjoy a nice old fashioned, sit down, talk with the person you brought, have a conversation, put the cell phones away. We want the Barcuso to be family oriented. The patio is 100% family friendly. Our goal here is to make sure you have the time of your life. We're gonna have kids cooking classes outside in our patio so they can get a look behind the curtain at what we do here. If you're parents and you wanna bring your kids in, you know you can come have a beautiful drink while your kids eat some pizza and you know, it's a family atmosphere. The speakeasy, on the other hand, will be 21 and over. We're not really here for the 21-year-old power drinkers. We're not here for the people that just want to take shots and, and take off or cause havoc. Number one, we want you to feel respected every time you walk in. We want the bartenders to know your drinks. We want you to feel like you're at home. We want you to feel comfortable. I want to thank so many people for just having my back through this whole thing. I mean, everybody from the mayor, Bill Velto, he's been in here showing support. Geo, Bobby D, Mel, uh, Joshua and planning, all those people have gone out of their way to make sure that I know that if anything was to happen or any help I needed, they're all here for me. And so I just, I can't say thank you enough to the city of Upland for that. Upland is known as a great city to live in with excellent schools, easy commuting options, and a location that supports an active lifestyle. Housing developers have noticed and are looking to build your next home in Upland. The benefit to building in Upland is that our our buyers get the established community, but they also then get a new home out of Lennar Homes. And the location is great. Uh, we're, we're close to LA, uh, and we're also close to Ontario Airport and other uh, cities in, in, in the IE. So if a family has one of the members works in LA and one works in the IE, it's a good middle point. And it offers an affordable price so that they can have their dream home. Upland has demand, and. Uh, you know, the location it attracts our buyers. That's what drives us to a project that we're sitting in today of the Enclave. I deal with a lot of municipalities and, and one thing I've come to appreciate with the city of Upland is it's a certain understanding. And so it's not, it has to be this way because I need it to be this way. It's let's talk about it, let's have a conversation, let's partner and understand so we can both get to what we need so that we can end up with a, a beautiful finished product like we have here in the Enclave. I would love to see Lennar come back to Upland and I would jump on the opportunity to push that through and bring more homes to Upland. We are not an easy partner. We, we ask a lot, but I, I just would say, say thank you for working with us throughout this process and, and getting to hopefully a, a finished product that we all can enjoy and will be here forever in the city of Upland. Upland is committed to attracting investment in our community with our city staff going above and beyond to show business owners why Upland is the right city for them, even if they own multiple types of businesses. Board of Upland was started in 1960 by part of our family and in 2011 I became the dealer operator here in Upland. Deciding to expand and, and build here in Upland was an easy choice. Um, the community is strong in its uh, loyalty as buyers and so as a trade community here in the colonies. It's beautiful. It's new. Um, customers like to come and have a great experience. Of course we had an older building down on Foothill Boulevard which we still use for service work but our brand needed some updating and so with the help of the city officials and the people who work here locally we took advantage of uh, options to 
expand here and uh, make it a great place for here in the Colonies Crossroads for our businesses to flourish in the place where most of the customers are coming. Well, originally I was in the reg restaurant business and um, ultimately after deciding that I wanted to be in the restaurant business again I thought what a better place to bring such an iconic brand like the Back Abbey to the city of Upland and its citizens. We are enjoying this wonderful community of Upland and so we want to work in it, we want to have commerce in it, we want people to build relationships. It's a fun thing to be in where everybody is generally enjoying themselves, having a good time right here in this community and you know that means a lot to me. If I meet with other business people who are interested in bringing their business concepts to Upland, I'm always able to give uh, good feedback about what that experience is gonna be like with city officials. And you can really be excited about bringing a new business into the community of Upland. To everyone who works at the city of Upland, your staff, all of the people that continue to support the businesses and our residents, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of those years and hard uh, days where we work together in order to get these businesses going. And I want to send out a special thanks to Mayor Velto, all of our city council members, our city manager, Michael Blay, and then also Robert Dahlquist, who has worked closely with us to uh, really make city uh, expansion possible. So thank you to all of you, and thank you for all that you do for our businesses here in the city of Upland. Upland is known for offering a variety of resources that help to sustain its business community, such as the Small Business Development Center, the Discover Upland gift card program, and various grant opportunities, to name a few. Let's hear from one of our local business owners who share their experiences with one of these programs. The Discover Upland gift card program was a huge success. The program was able to drive business to our store, increase our revenue, and also grow our reach. We processed over 178 gift cards. When I opened my business four years ago, it was a great experience. During my ribbon cutting and my grand opening, I was floored with the amount of people that came out. The city officials, uh, the amount of members from the city and also from the chamber, it was just so welcoming. The police department, they worked with us to come out and tell us about security, make sure that our business is safe. They also patrol the Pacific Electric Trail all the time to make sure that, you know, if there's anything going on there, they take care of it and they make sure that the path is safe for everybody. Public Works has been a big part of our business. They make sure that the bike path, the Pacific Electric Trail, and the surrounding areas is clean so that that is a benefit for not only my customers and having a great experience, but also anybody else who uses the path. When you come into Pedago Upland, you are going to be treated just like a family member. We are all about our customers. We want to get to know you. We want to get to know where are you going to ride your bike, who are you going to ride it with. Do you have any issues? Do you have any special needs that we can help you with? We help you choose the bike that's proper for you. We also do a custom fitting here and also to make sure that you're comfortable before you take your bike home. I'm also very proud that with the help of our Pedago Corporate Office, we are able to use our bikes to help nonprofit organizations do their fundraising projects. The Upland City Council members have been extremely supportive. In fact, Shannon Moss, I would like to give a special thank you because she seems to be on call whenever we need anything, if there's an issue. I'd like to thank the City of Upland, the Upland Chamber of Commerce, Mayor Valto, the council members, for continuing to steer our city in a positive direction. Here's another business that has decided to expand its footprint in the City of Upland, with not just one, but two locations. City council members and city staff to help connect this national brand to an established Upland-based commercial property to their mutual benefit. Upland, it's just a great city. The residents of Upland and surrounding communities really support Chick-fil-A and due to the really strength of Chick-fil-A as a brand as a whole, really warranted for a second location to be built in the city of Upland. So we went through a reinvestment in my first location, so we were closed for five months at Colonies. So I had first-hand experience with Upland uh, with that location, and then we went right into building this location. Um, and I gotta tell you, from top to bottom, uh, the experience has been pretty pretty exceptional. And Upland's been, been great, all the way from planning department to development department, all the way from, from the mayor, uh, his team, you know, Carlos Garcia, pro team mayor as well, has been, been great contact for me, a great resource. Uh, council members, uh, you name it. Mountain Green uh, location is an ideal spot and location. You can't beat the demographics. Population density in the area is phenomenal, um, along with the traffic uh, on the mountain and the 10 freeway just 
it's just a, a recipe for success and then you add Chick-fil-A. Strong brand presence, uh, that really is just a phenomenal uh, opportunity. Meeting with us from the beginning to going through the entitlement process was instrumental and vital to getting the Chick-fil-A deal done. I, I made it very clear to Mr. Dahlquist up ahead that time was of the essence. We had to assure Chick-fil-A that they would be able to get through the entitlement process very quickly and smoothly. And uh, Councilman Garcia, Mr. Dahlquist assured me that wouldn't be an issue. And based on my experience over the last 10 years in working with the city, I took them for their word. We were able to meet with the Chick-fil-A um, development team and have a pre-meeting with them to help them gain that confidence and trust in the city of Upland. And without that, I can honestly say Chick-fil-A probably wouldn't be here at the Mountain Green Shopping Center. So that was important to us and we look forward to continuing that relationship as we work together to push the Mountain Green Shopping Center and the city of Upland forward. The ribbon cutting ceremony was kind of the birth of, of, of opening this restaurant. The Upland PD is a huge um, supporter of Chick-fil-A. We're a huge supporter of Upland PD. Uh, Chief Blanco and his team were present. Uh, council members were present. The city of Upland is very pro-business. Um, it's just been a great, great experience. As you can see, our city staff is very proactive about keeping connected with our Upland business community with one goal, assisting them with their various local business needs. We encourage residents to think local first spending their next dollar and continue supporting Upland-based businesses when they go shopping, need groceries, go out to eat, or have some other need, always helping to ensure that our local business community continues to thrive. As my colleague, Councilmember Shannon Moss says, Shop Upland, with the support of the Upland Chamber of Commerce, the number one chamber of commerce in California, which provides additional resources and networking opportunities for our businesses, the city can continue to welcome and assist businesses with their growth, helping to make Upland a better place to call home.